people. All right, let's get back to Dave Aguilera. So, Dave, you said that there's a change, a possible change headed our way this week. Change next week. We've got some small changes and a, a big one kind of to cap a, it off, and that one might have some rain for Denver in the front range. It's nice to see the anemometer not moving really quickly out there. We've got some breezes blowing, but we've really uh, kind of got a break today on the really strong winds. They go a few blocks uh, to the west of our location here, and you can see the flags flapping a little bit more out there. But even with that, the gusts of wind now are about 5 to 15 mile per hour on the Denver Metro and a lot of areas even lower than that around uh, most of the Denver Metro. It's a little bigger as far as the wind gusts go in the mountains and down south, so the fire dangers are still a little large down there. Add to that the heat today, 80 in Fort Collins and Greeley, 79 in Boulder, Denver officially at 81 out at the airport. We were 83 downtown. Lamar at 87, uh, almost 90 degrees there. And Big Ed Team, our first alert weather watcher in northeast Alamosa, has 75 right now, and he said it was an absolutely gorgeous spring day down there in the San Luis Valley. Now, we've got some clouds pushing over northern Colorado here, and believe it or not, that is a cold front that's sliding it's the tail end the business end of this is out in the Midwest and up in Canada so we're just going to see slightly cooler air tomorrow by a couple of degrees is all but humidity levels may go up a little bit and behind the front a teensy bit of less wind if you could say that uh, so we don't have any red flag warnings for us going on tomorrow although if you live way out east from Sterling and Lyman and Goodland you might get a little wind kicking up in the afternoon with this front coming through and at the end of the day there might be a sprinkle or two down there in the uh, Sangre de Cristos up towards Pikes Peak but really no measurable rain to speak of at all even with that there is though some changes in the works take a Look at the jet stream now. Warming ridge of high pressure starts on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. We'll warm up a little bit. On the top of this, we might have enough moisture for some isolated thunderstorms in northern Colorado. Not much rain from that. But by the time we get to Friday, the uh, long term charts are showing this cold trough kind of swinging through and making it into Colorado. It'll bring back some wind, but also some thunderstorms that might actually have some bona fide rain with it as well. Not a drought buster by any means, but we've got some measurable rain coming our way by the end of next week. So through the night from Golden down through a Castle Rock in southern Colorado, still have that red flag warning for high fire danger going on, so be careful there. Temperatures tonight, mostly 40s and 50s around the metro area. Should be about 79 in Lakewood tomorrow. Castle Pines at 75 and Frederick about 77 for you tomorrow. 80s out west, 70. 60s in the mountains and a few 80s down there in southeastern Colorado. So just a little dip in the temperatures coming your way. So 53 tonight, partly cloudy, breezy, mild night, mostly sunny, breezy uh, tomorrow. A gust up to 25 in town, but a few degrees cooler. 78 to DIA, 80 at the uh, downtown location here. Normal highs about 70. So that's still hot for this time of year. And then with 80s Monday and Tuesday, pretty warm to start the week with slight chances of isolated storms. Dry and hot again on Thursday, but Friday we have a front coming through. Scattered thunderstorms, and at this point, the uh, chances of precipitation, 40 percent. And we mm -hmm. haven't seen anything that high since those first few days of the month when we right. saw that rain for a couple of days. Right. I was going to say, otherwise it's a copy-paste forecast there for you. Oh, yeah. So come on Friday. <laughs> yes. Can't wait for this time around. Yes, we bring on that change. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Dave. You're welcome. Well, coming up, wage theft is a big problem. In